Hey guys, it's Ali from Masterpiece Renovation. Today we're going to be installing a new faucet and first thing we're going to be doing is installing shutoff valves because there aren't any here. You might have uh, leaking shutoffs in which case you should replace them. Now is a good opportunity to do that. I have here the Shark Bite shutoff. They're very easy to install. They're push fittings and you can pick them up at any Home Depot. And right now I've turned off the water to the home. And the first step we're going to do is cut the pipes and install these shutoffs. Also, I like to put a little container here just to collect any water that might spill out from the uh, lines after you cut them. And also, it's a good idea to clear everything under the sink. That way you have a nice working area. Once you've turned off the main water supply, go ahead and turn on the faucet. Make sure that there's no water coming out and the lines are properly bled out. The next step is to actually cut the pipe. This is the tool we're going to be using to cut the copper pipe. It's a 3 to 22 millimeter junior cutter. To use this tool, you have to start off in the open position. And as you work your way around the pipe, you turn the knob clockwise and it gets smaller and smaller until the pipe is properly cut. Before installing the shark bite shut off, make sure that the pipe is properly clean, doesn't have any loose bits of debris or material. Now we're gonna install the shark bite. You just line it up carefully and then you push the fitting. Make sure it's all the way in. The next step is to loosen these nuts that are holding the faucet in place with an adjustable wrench. Once you loosen it a little bit, you can untighten the rest by hand. This elbow fitting is on here quite tight, so at this point I'm just going to cut right above the nut here as well, so that I can remove this faucet. I like to use a mini hacksaw, it's a really quick and easy tool to use, especially when you don't have to make a precise cut. Be sure to disconnect the pop-up. Okay, at this point you can remove the faucet. So using the large adjustable locking plier, I was able to remove the P-trap and I removed the old pop-up drain. It was really stuck, it wouldn't come apart. It's corroded as you can see here. So I actually used the mini hacksaw and I just cut it. So once you remove the old pop-up drain, give it a really good wipe and then you're ready to install the new pop-up. Make sure you put some uh, stain-free plumber's putty. This is the brand I'm using right now. So you push through the pop-up and you tighten it from the top and then you secure it from the bottom. Now we're going to reinstall the P-trap. First you push the side with the pop-up. Now this one at the top here is going counterclockwise to tighten and this one is going clockwise to tighten. Using the locking pliers, just make sure they're fully tight without over tightening them. So now we're ready to install the new faucet. This one comes with the uh, a gasket. If yours doesn't have one, you should uh, silicone after. With, uh, clear silicone would be good. Before connecting the braided lines, make sure you check the package. There should be nuts that fasten to the sink, and these have to go in first. As you're tightening the faucet, make sure you hold the top and secure the bottom at the same time so it doesn't move from the desired location. Okay, it's nice and secure now. The next step is to use the braided lines we have and connect the faucet to the shutoff valve. Once you tighten them by hand, make sure you have an adjustable wrench to tighten them a little more. For the faucet connect, you'll need a larger adjustable wrench. This is the pop-up drain once it's secured. It should look like this once you've finished installing it. Make sure you adjust the height depending on your sink. Once you have everything installed, 
turn the main water back on. Now what we're gonna do is test for leaks. We're gonna turn on the shutoffs in the on position. Next we're gonna turn on the faucet. Make sure the cold water is working. No leaks. This is exactly what you wanna see, no leaks. And the hot water. Make sure there's no leaks happening anywhere. Everything looks good. Test the pop up. Make sure the water is filling up. Okay, looks perfect. Once you finish checking for leaks, that means you're all done. If you like this tutorial, give us a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one.